going on? Rob Fish here from BikeBandit.com, here with Joe from Icon. We just walked up to the front door, and I've already seen more creativity, more motorcycle passion than I could even describe. But we're going to do our best and bring you up to speed on everything going on here at Icon. Came up from Southern California. We're here in Portland, Oregon. And I've got nothing but questions. I just wanted to say, first off, welcome, and thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for coming here. You know, it's not, not often we have people visit the, I guess you could say, the brain trust of ICOM, but it's always good to show more people around. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, the camera's facing this direction, because in this room, there's just nothing but ideas. Things are flowing, so we can't really show you that side of the room. <laughs> But you'll see it coming very, very soon. Motorcycles, helmets, gear, drawings, sketches, ideas. Again, this is not just, hey, we are helmets and jackets and gloves, because they are much more than that. Coming up here, full garage, multiple designs going on, dozens of bikes. This is just going to be awesome. Want to welcome you. Give me, a, give me a little rundown on, let's say, the history, the past the present, and the direction that Icon is going. Uh, it's a really great origin story. So our design director and founder, Kurt Walter, started Icon as a from the streets, for the streets apparel brand. His only goal was to make motorcycle gear you want to wear, protects you in a crash, but doesn't look like traditional motorcycle garments. For really that individual that doesn't ascribe to, I'm the track guy, I'm the cruiser guy, etc. So we really try to reflect different styles, different cultures. It's grown since then. Being in Portland, you're de dealing with a lot of different inspirations, a lot of different people, a lot of different music, and it's grown from just sport bikes, and now we have gear for, we have the adventure gear, we have the cruiser gear, but it's all rooted in that, let's do something different. Let's do something alternative, let's do something fast and cool. Uh, I'm, I'm digging it. Again, I've seen so many things. I've got questions. I'm a, I'm a pretty, you know, brainy kind of guy, and this is just going to be an awesome tour. Again, want to welcome you. Buckle up. Hang tight. Here we go. I just want to say in a room full of bikes, this one stands out. Joe, here's the mic. Tell us more. So we're in the, the clubhouse. As it's, as it's been termed an icon, this is where a lot of the creative development, a lot of discussions happen about what you see next season or seasons thereafter. We like to surround ourselves with past icon bikes. It's kind of inspiration, kind of notable customs. This one is a personal favorite of our design director, Kurt Walter. This is low down and shifty. Uh, photographed about two seasons ago for the Icon 1000 collection. Was in the, the icon family, but much longer than that. Um, it is a XS650 custom, drag inspired. We have a lot of custom artwork, custom chromoly frame. We have a exhaust off a of Motos' GP bike. This is one of those bikes where it was a no holds barred design brief. We just wanted to go crazy with it, see what we could get away with. One of the more popular bikes from the Icon 1000 line, people see it all the time. I continually get linked from other people like who built this bike and I'm like yeah it's one of ours <laughs> but uh this is a great example of the icon 1000 bikes they're not built for any specific purpose but eventually they come out of the closet to shine thing is awesome thing is absolutely awesome i mean from a front mounted oil cooler to it to like you say a gp in it you know actual exhaust that, that thing is trick that's trick i can see why you place it in the window facing the front of the building. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fun place to hang out <laughs> and do serious work, but we make sure to have enough fun as well. So we've cruised around the building a little bit, and this room is very cool. A lot of cool things going on here. Joe, bring us up to speed. Where are we at? So this is where the heavy lifting gets done with product. So uh, on the walls is old Icon products, products that customers have sent in, to just kind of, we're continually working on improving and getting more of a variety of product out there, and this is where we really work to make that happen. Any feedback from customers besides, you know, verbal feedback? Any, you know, product that has been tested, if you will? Absolutely. Um, our customers are serious riders, and we get a lot of product sent in from us as a thank you. As, you know, an EMT cut this off of me, I had a very serious accident. 
we get a lot of product that we've used in previous advertisements, and we also get a lot of product casually. Uh, this variant's actually one of them. This was brought in about three months ago. Uh, an individual crashed on a lake bed. He flipped a Ural on top of his helmet, and he came in just to thank us. What he didn't know is not only did he crash an icon, but he also gets our patch, which is the busted and broken patch, which is for everyone who crashes an icon. You can't buy this patch. You can't, you know, find it at a dealer. You have to write to us on our website, and you get the bust and broken patch. So I was about to say, so that is uh, that's a that's a uh, membership to a club that is definitely earned. Yeah, he, and this individual earned it. I mean, we do fun video shoots, we do fun photos, but at the end of the day, the product needs to work. For certain. And the variant's a great example, and this helmet's actually a great showcase. He fully cracked the helmet. The EPS absorbed all the impact. He did not leave with a concussion. He did not leave with any broken bones. The EPS, as you can see, is fissured on the inside. The chin bar is actually torqued from the entire motorcycle and sidecar falling on top of it. So these types of products are a continual inspiration for us. You know, keep working, keep going hard, make it better, and realize, you know, what we're in the business of. And at the end of the day, yeah, we build bikes, but our expertise is in motorcycle apparel. That is, uh, that is definitely a testament to uh, truly uh, invest, in, uh, invest in your safety. Yes, you're buying something that looks great, but you're really buying the ability to walk away from a, from a, from a crash, from a get-off. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> so. Well, I, uh, I hopefully I never have one of those patches. <laughs>so now what we have done is we've come down into the garage and this place is just a mecca of awesome tell us more of what goes on down here so we have a shop right next to our offices where we build all the bikes a lot of people see icon they think someone else builds them no we build them all in-house using our own fabrication team we have our own mechanic and we kind of come down here after hours or in many cases on the weekend like our design director tends to do and build the bikes you see in all the advertising shoots this this is this is pretty cool i mean it is a metamorphosis of moto in here i, I mean it's piece from this piece from that obviously one off you see the guys in the back just working it this is this is awesome you know we had to wait a couple minutes so they could shut shut the welders down and uh, this is just cool any uh, cool projects that uh, you can mention we do so we have uh coming in february we have two new 1000 bikes we have a commission build from triumph again and then we have a, a Harley 883 we've been playing with and doing some performance modifications to. Um, and then we have two bikes we're currently in process with, one of which is a commissioned Kawasaki Custom. So in the past few years, we've actually been commissioned by Kawasaki, Triumph, Ural to build custom motorcycles for them. Take, uh, take what they've done and put your own little bit of flavor and spice to it? A little bit. They, we have a specific strain of, uh, of insanity, some would say, but... We have a very unique look, a very unique feel, and we just talk to a, a younger, faster consumer. So a lot of these guys, they definitely are, are on board with what we're doing. Uh, along with, I should mention, the companies we work with. You know, progressive suspension, ballistic batteries. We got tires from Continental. Like, basically, a run the gamut of industry best hard parts, and you'll find them on Icon Bikes. This is, this is, this is pretty cool, I, I must say. You know, when you get to walk into this, and it's like... Ah, that's the smell that we all love. And here we are in Portland with Joe from Icon. Just fantastic. Okay, so now we're down in the garage. We are with Joel, one of the mechanic team members who spins the wrenches of magic. Uh, got any latest projects that you can share with us? Uh, yeah, we've got this. It's a, a first-generation Katana. Um, it started out as a stock bike, but obviously, as you can tell, it's starting to take shape and um, got gale speed wheels on it, a TLR swing arm, a 929 front end, a Bandit 1200 we're going to install into it. Um, the body work will be a little modified, um, but yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a process of trying to make things fit and fabricating up what we have to fabricate to make it all come together. So you have uh, no busted knuckles is what you're saying because you've said, okay, we got some Suzuki here, we've got some Honda here, and it's, 
it's it's just a metamorphosis of magic is what you're saying exactly yes. uh, if you can think of something and you want it to look a certain way we can build it and that's pretty much what we do um, between all the designers and and everybody they come up with sketches and we find the parts that go along with those sketches and start to put it all together that is just so cool just to kind of yeah, I mean, we had to actually wait for camera time so the welding would stop because otherwise it was just crack, 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 crackle, crackle. And we just kind of sat here with just jaws dropped and watched it all happen, watched it all unfold. Again, appreciate the time, Joel. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right on. Rob Fish from BikeBandit.com. Been all around the facility here. We've gone upstairs, downstairs, and whatnot. Came in here on Halloween, a little travel day. And uh, where are we at now? So we are in our video studio, I guess you could say. We shoot uh, product videos. We shoot some a variety of garage films in here. And we also shoot all the product videos you see on our YouTube channel and that dealers use, such as Bike Bandit. And we figured since you're coming down for Halloween, we'll show you some new stuff. Uh, we have a new film debuting, the iCal 1000 Containment Conflicts. Thought it was perfect for Halloween. And then we got the new Aramata Seance graphic. So these came out today because we're always working on new stuff. So there is no holiday <laughs> I got Motorsports. What do you uh what do you got? Bring us up to speed, share. So the seance is inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. It's done by a local artist because we all use we use a lot of artists from different guess genres. We have street artists, we have traditional oil artists, we use guys that do Magic the Gathering cards, pinball art. They're the ones creating Many of the helmet graphics you see, some are done in-house. Uh, this is one that was done by a local Portland artist. We have a raven on the crown. We have some dripping blood, eye and a hand, very ghouly, very kind of dark magic. We're bringing that Alistair Crowley vibe to it. Okay. Uh, we want to make it, make it pop, make it scary all year round. That thing looks... Uh that thing looks awesome. I mean, kind of intimidating, kind of creepy, freaky, but again, done uh, done in the true icon style, making a statement. Yep, there's only one brand that does it, and uh, Halloween's kind of our official holiday, so we figured we'd bring a new helmet out for it. Well, definitely, we appreciate you sharing. We appreciate you having us over here, right. and uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Thanks again. Have a great one. Rob Fish, BikeBandit.com. <laughs>